I have a daughter who's eight, and her brother just turned 18. Okay, this is my stepson. And this is only a guy thing, too. Loves to walk by me and act like he's going to backhand my ball bag. Like, loves it. <laughs> loves it. See, listen to the laughter in the room. It's bassy. It's bassy, because it's only guys that do this shit. Here's the thing. Every man in here has either done it or had it done to him. Okay? And we don't even get mad. I know one time a guy got me so good, he was like, Poof, and I was like, oh, <laughs> whoa, oh, I feel that, my spinal fluid. <laughs> oh, somebody get a tape measure, I might be six foot for the only time in my life. Oh, dude, right on the tip, it stings. It fucking stings. I've had dudes do that to me at the office. Yeah, at work. Could you imagine walking into a store and seeing two women do that to each other. Some lady's just like, <laughs> I got you, Cheryl. I got you right in your pussy, Cheryl. You keep wearing those Lululemons on casual Fridays. I'm gonna backhand that pussy every Friday, Cheryl. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much. My special lefty son is out and we are at the time of this recording, we're already over 300,000 views. So thank you so much. I appreciate all your support. If you haven't watched it yet, I promise you it's a great watch. Um, I directed this thing. I produced it. I put a lot of time into this thing. I was in the hospital dying and still making notes on it. So go watch it. If you haven't yet, share it, like it, comment on it, get it out there in that algorithm. Go support Lefty Son. It's available on my YouTube now, and it is free. Thank you for your support. The Honeydew with Ryan Sickler. Welcome back to the Honeydew, y'all. We're over here doing it in the Night Pan Studios. I'm Ryan Sickler, Ryan Sickler dot com ryan sickler on all your social media and i uh, want to say thank you guys for for being here again for always coming back if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to the youtube channel they keep demonetizing us for every episode because we talk about real things and they don't like real words on youtube so in order to find us you got to go find us so hit subscribe that way it always pops up for you all right if you got to have more then you got to check out the honeydew with y'all it is, I'm telling you, it's the wildest show on Patreon. It's five bucks a month, and um, we just talked to a, a kid who was in the classroom of the Michigan State shooting, uh, where unfortunately two students in his class died. Um, just talked to a double lung transplant patient, and the way he got the lungs is, and what happened is insane. You got to check this show out. I'm telling you, it's staying five bucks. And uh, it's every week and you get the honeydew a day early, you get it ad free and you get it at no additional cost. And if you or someone you know has a story that has to be heard, please submit it to honeydewpodcast at gmail.com. And if you're looking for a new podcast, listen to my old podcast. It's an audio only storytelling podcast with all your favorites from every podcast you listen to now. It's called The Crab Feast. It's out there. Subscribe to that. All right. Uh, dates. May 26th and May 27th, I'll be in Fort Wayne, Indiana. June 23rd and 24th, I'll be in Tacoma, Washington. July 7th and 8th, Appleton, Wisconsin. July 21st and 22nd, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And make sure you are watching my special Lefty Son on YouTube. All right? Go get it. It's right there for free on my YouTube channel. And uh, that's it. Now, you guys know what we do over here. We highlight the lowlights. And you know I always say these are the stories behind the storytellers. Some storytellers continue to have stories behind them, and um, we're grateful for that, and we're grateful for them being here, and I'm very excited to have this guest back on The Honeydew. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jason Ellis. Welcome back to The Honeydew, Jason Ellis. Thanks, man. With the hottest fucking Selma Hayek shirt. I said to you before, like, that's the hottest non-nude scene in film. Maybe. You know, when I saw that movie, I didn't know that uh, anybody turned into a vampire. 
I was me just, either. I was just super high. Me either. I had no idea. Yeah. And then so all when of a that sudden, happened, yeah. I was like, what the? <laughs> oh, me too. Yeah, dude. I was That's really exactly stoked. Was yeah. It made it so much better <laughs> when you don't know. That I was like, they're all vampires? Yeah. Yeah, she is something else in that. Yeah. Um, You're something else, dude. Thank you for being here. I know we're going to talk about some shit. Today actually is my 50th birthday. Yeah. We recorded this a few weeks ago, obviously, but today's my 50th birthday. And before we talk about that, I want you to plug and promote everything Jason Ellis. Oh, okay. So I have a Patreon um, where, you know, there's a guy on there talking about bad stuff happening to him all the time. So patreon.com slash ellismate. Uh, and then I have the Jason Ellis podcast available everywhere. And Hawk versus Wolf, it's a podcast that myself and Tony Hawk do. She's telling you to come up on the mic, she said oh. there. Or at yeah. least like angle it up to you. Yeah, so Tony, I do a podcast with Tony Hawk called Hawk vs. Wolf. That's available everywhere, YouTube, all that stuff. Um, and I I got Wolf Knife's clothing. Uh, I now have it through another company, notdeadyet.com. So I'm like kind of doing a collaboration with them. They make really good stuff, and they were like, do you want to – could we make like a Wolf Knives collabo? And I was like, what about if you just made everything from here on on, here on out? <laughs> and, yeah. they, and they were like, yeah, but you'll make less money. And I'm like, yeah, but your stuff is good. So I don't really, I want good stuff, not cheap stuff. So it's a little more expensive, but I really love it now. I love wearing it and training in it. So that that's good because I used to have to get custom T-shirts made of the T-shirts that I sold because it was through a company that makes – the lowest grade t-shirt and I'm a t-shirt like I don't like what the neck is janked or whatever yeah, like I can't too. live dude like if you pull that and I know it's janked like I, I gotta go yeah or that one that'll curl a little bit I'm dude. like nah this is gone this retro is gone. t-shirts like oh so bad so you turned 50 how long ago not too long ago yeah I'm 51 so a year ago and you invited me to the party at the time yep. you, and uh you rented what a, a mansion, mansion in the hills. Yeah. Ta- let's, so let's talk about your fiftieth birthday and let's okay. talk about mine. What have you done so far on your fiftieth birthday? Um, so far today, yeah. I woke up. Um, I took my daughter to school this morning. Happy birthday! Thank you. Yeah. Dropped her off. She wish, wish me- I could have come to that. That sounds like a party. <laughs> I can't wait to hear yours because I got invited to this party. Yeah, uh, and I did not go because I had my daughter at the time, and. Um, I took her to school this morning, made her breakfast. We got ready, took her and the dog, dropped my daughter off at school. Um, I went back to my place, did a little work, um, talked to Brandy for a little bit on the call, and then came here. Other people have texted me, happy birthday. I've been responding right. to that. And then I came here to to sit with you. Now, that's where I'm going to stop because I'm going to tell you the rest of what I have after you tell me how you celebrated your 50th birthday because I, I would like to see how it started. Right. Well, I got a mansion uh, in Beverly Hills and then I uh, I had f- four, no, three girls and my wife come over to, um, to bang me for- Again, how many? Four girls. And your wife. No, nah, total four total girls four. and me. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm a video have a five some and a videographer and a videographer, a guy who's just watching it, recording it. Yeah, so that, was, that was weird. <laughs> uh, Whose but, idea was that? Yours? Yeah, I want. I've always wanted to have a tensum. That's my tensum. Yeah, I wanted to make a million dollars and have a tensum. Is a tensum you and nine women? Yeah. Okay. And then my my f- first wife said, when you make a million dollars, sure. And then I made a million dollars, and she was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were going to make a million dollars. I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> that's I didn't fair. either. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, there goes that. But then I got a divorce, and then I got married to someone who's like, uh, you know, into doing stuff like that. But you could just never get nine. It's hard. And I'm 50. Not a lot of people want to sleep with 50 year olds, so I get it. Had you had a a five some before? Um, what was the no, most? That's you the had. most I've had. What was the yeah. most you had prior to that? Um, foursomes. 
Okay. Four yeah, so fivesome was Sons one step up. Yeah. on the end of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was a trans girl that was coming too, but she came later. So all, it was almost a sixum, which would have been. <laughs> That would have been a six. That would have been legendary. <laughs> but anyway, I got a little nervous and I didn't eat all day. And I, I thought they were going to do it. And then they didn't do it. And it went until way later in the day. And then when it started, they were like, okay, go. And they're all on the bed. And they're like, you just walk in and, you know, plow everybody. And I'm like, okay. And my dick just didn't really want to answer. It was like too much pressure. And it was kind of up. And I was trying to get it to go up more and just, it just escalated, and and then I was like, I'm out. How long did you try? Uh, I, I, I got... I got <laughs> and the worst part is there's some guy over there watching. Yeah, him. no, that was half the... I was <laughs> like, man, is saying. he You're filming not me not <laughs> yeah, hard? Yeah, of course he is. Yeah. Try like, to shove try to shove a, like a sock in a pussy somebody right should have some dunk. <laughs> He's zooming in on it. Shit. Such a bad time. <laughs> Start sneaking off into the corner and like <laughs> eating somebody's butt. And she'll be like, "Yeah, maybe it'll come back." And it just didn't. So, how long did you try to get your dick hard on your five some for your fiftieth? It was like I did. I was in the game for about twenty, and then they finished it off for the last fifteen by themselves. And I just sat there contemplating suicide. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it happens. Don't Did worry about it. Did you start directing? Did you just tell this guy? like, No, nah, I just sat there <laughs> just and was like, there. it's your birthday. Try not to get too depressed about ruining this whole thing. And then they were like, we get it. Some people, you know, like when it's cameras and that many girls, it can happen to a guy. We've seen it before. Who's we, who's saying this? All the girls. Because this is, they're, they're porn girls then? Yeah. Okay, they are. Yeah, they're professionals. All right. They're not just friendly. Yeah, they're like, for how long you've been involved in stuff, like, it's a lot. You know, like, we're not worried about it. And then the trans girl came over, and then uh, I took a boner pill. And when she came over, I was back up and running. So I filmed some stuff with her, and then I think there was a little bit of a conversation about how gay Jason is, potentially. And then at the end of the night, I was told, <laughs> I'm just laughing because of my birthday. Yeah, because it was really cool. Like All these that. things are really cool, but it was also um, <laughs> like I, I was told that maybe you're gay. And I was like, you're going to say that on my birthday? You are because you're the only one that really knows me. Who's saying this? My the wife. Trans girl? Oh, your wife. And, you know, the next day she was like, I was drunk. I didn't mean it, but it did something to me for sure. It offended you? It shouldn't offend me, but yeah. Well, yeah. I thought you liked men. Yeah, but I'm mainly straight. Okay. But I think I've been getting a lot gayer lately. <laughs> I feel like I just didn't know <laughs> myself. I did. I've just, like, I would never, I did stuff with guys every now and then, and it was very hedro. Like, I was, you can suck it, but you're not kissing me. Like, you know, there's certain things that I won't do. Okay. Because it's too gay. We touched on a little bit. No, I didn't mean that in that way. But last time we talked about this, but we didn't go there. So kissing is off. The, what else is off limits? Well, it's not anymore. Okay. Well, before. I'm a raging homo Before now, you get to being a raging homo, before, what were your sort of rules? You just suck it. Don't put your face near my face. You know, there's no cuddling or fuck. No, no, no. I'm not hugging you at all. No, no, it's you gay. hug me outside. Yeah, because I love you, and I've got past it all now. Good, but at the time, I'm not gay, but I hug the shit out of you. Yeah, well, I'm not. It's a different hug, you know. It is a different hug. It's like after you bone, and then they want to like spoon. It's like, dude, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do that. But now I can because, you know, you are – I know who I am a little bit more now. And it does All right, seem- well, hold on a second. You took the boner pill, got fired up for the trans girl, then it becomes how gay is Jason, maybe you're gay. Yep. Do you think that happens to your dick if you don't take the boner pill? I was out for the day. If I didn't take that boner pill, it wouldn't have got up. So then if – I should have taken one right yeah, before. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Or even when it didn't work, I'd have been like, just give me a minute here. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody yeah. eat pussies up. Give me 40 minutes. That's, I didn't have the courage to say that. I was <laughs> like, everyone's going. I, I'll just move out. <laughs> I'll move out. It was really bad. 
I'm surprised. I'm so me too. Because I'm like, but if you don't take this pill, your dick doesn't get hard. So you also don't fuck the trans girl. Then you don't even have the whole conversation of how gay is Jason. Yeah, yeah, that would have been better. Yeah. So, what bothered you about your wife saying that? Because I had to contemplate that it might be true, and that's what bothered you. Yeah. And so that's why you spend your fiftieth birthday contemplating, like, am I if you're gay and how gay are I? Am I? Yep. Okay, can I finish my birthday? Yeah. My 50th birthday. Yeah, you're obviously, come, you're obviously come come going back. somewhere to party after this, right? <laughs> right after this. Today at 2 o'clock, I'm going to look at a new uh, apartment or home or whatever over here in this area, trying to get closer to my daughter's neighborhood because it's outrageously expensive. Okay. And uh, so was this hospital stay. And uh, I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to pick her up at school. And I'm going to take her to dance class, and I'm going to sit at dance class where there's a jacket that says Dance Dad that she wants me to get. And I'm like, nah, I bought her and her friend jackets last week, dance jackets. I peed in everybody's mouths, and everybody peed in mine. (laughs) Very different birthdays. (laughs) Right? Very different. Yeah, was, and then after dance class, I'm taking her to her mom's, and I'm going to go home. And maybe I have dinner with Dan Van Kirk tonight, and maybe I just fucking lay on the couch and watch the new Mandalorian. And that's my 50th fucking birthday, dude. Wow. Now, I, in my defense, I know I, I've never been a birthday guy. I've never been a uh, dude. Okay. I never have. I, okay. I mean, I've been with plenty of women where at work or whatever, too, where we'll go to a place, and I'll, one of them will say, this place. It's cute. I'm going to have my birthday here. I've ne- that's never been a sentence that's come out of my mouth. I think I'll have my birthday here has never been a sentence I've uttered, right? right? I don't look at a venue when I walk in as a place I may come back to celebrate with friends. Right. Outside yeah. of if it's a restaurant, I'll bring you because I like this place. We're going to go eat sushi here. Okay. We're not going to throw a festive event here. Right. I've def. I mean, the why don't you celebrate your birthday? I don't know. I don't know. I've just I feel never like you're been too there. manly to but, do it. But but I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm really not. I have. I, I have. You just super, such I an anti ego. No, I, I'm I have ego a, guy. Like you don't like I'm it. anti the ego. Right. So I'm that so celebrating that. your birthday is a little egotistical. Yeah. You know, I, when okay, someone goes, fair it's enough. my birthday week. You're yeah. like week. It's not yeah. a week. Thank you. You don't get to say week. Yes. But then. Enough people around me said it where I was like, I'm having a birthday week. Well, after you have a near-death experience, too, you start to think about shit like that. Like, yeah. hey, so this this 50th birthday, it's it hasn't lost its shine in the sense that I'm so glad to be here for another one. But but 51, that's going to be way more important than 50 now. And 52 is going to – you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this, this r- nice round number of 50 is awesome. I'm glad I made it here. But as far as the way I was looking at it before I almost died and the way I'm looking at it after, two different fucking ways. 53 is my pressure cooker. That's when my dad died. So if I make it to 54, I beat him. Yeah, so my that's dad my... died at 42. And I almost died at 42. That's oh, yeah. when I first discovered I had these clots and everything exactly oh, at that time. Wow. Same way, same everything. Oh. Now I hit 50. I'm trying to get 53 more years out of this fucking computer right here. I mean, you've told the story on here already, right? I ju- yes, it, it has okay. aired by now, yeah. Because you told me today, and yeah. I'm like, dude, as a person that's had health problems where they're like, you're having a heart attack. And you I'm sent like, me flowers and everything, dude. Yeah. And an eye mask. I did. That yeah. you thought was funny, and that was, came in so fucking handy. I sweat okay. through the other one I had. I, I was in there right. sweating. I wasn't dripping. sure I was like, what oh, the, I, I was like, it. I, I really did something. love it, dude. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it was a scary thing. And uh, now, um, you know, I wanted to go on a vacation. I still can't fly yet. My back's still fucked up. You know, Man. my lungs still have clots, but I'm, I'm okay with, like, they just have to go away. So it's all good. But, Could you um, have a five some? Would I? Could you? Right now? Yeah. Hell no. No, uh, they'd break me in half, dude. Okay. They'd break me in. I would be, listen, I, I could have come, the one you had. I can, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I still. I, I could sit over there and tell them what to I do. I still too. nailed three of them before it <laughs> finished. I just was thinking I was going to be the champion. There ain't no fivesome in this back oh, right yeah. now. <laughs> I promise you that. There's All no right. fivesome coming out of here. But not once have I thought. I like to piss in somebody's mouth on my 50th birthday. That's a thought that doesn't cross my mind. Yeah, or having check someone it out. piss in mine. Hadn't thought of it. 
I don't pretty know cool. that I've met women. And here's the other thing. See, that's I the wonder, other thing. I'm, I wonder. Maybe I've been I did around date a girl pee that. drinkers a lot. Like in the last five to six years, the amount of pee that has crossed my mouth. And everybody else that I hang out with. <laughs> this is definitely a demonetized episode. Oh, man, is Who it? cares? Who cares? They all are. Sorry. Everybody out there is making money on YouTube. I'm not making shit on YouTube. They demonetize almost every episode. What is that? It's just life, you know? Um, I wonder. I wonder how many women, like, because you date a girl in high school. She's not into whatever she's into in high school yet. She, mm. Who knows where they go? Mm. Or in a guy, too. Who knows what they've evolved into? Um, so I wonder, maybe, sure, maybe somewhere in the, my past there was a pee drinker, but I, I, I didn't get the opportunity. Right. I only had one girl that wanted me to pee on her, um, and I peed on her in the shower. And that was it, her leg. And was right. not, you know. That's a starter kit. It's a starter kit. That's yeah. exactly what that is. It progresses. Yeah. But you, the thing I love about you is you're a fucking man. Like, Am I? I saw the clip of you and Dr. Drew where you said, if we were walking down the street and you just ran up the two strangers and said, which one of us is gay? It's definitely it's Drew. Definitely him. Yeah. Definitely. And it is. <laughs> it is. He looks gay as hell. That's what society thinks, though. Yeah. And what I love about you is that you're every bit of fucking man, but you're unashamed of who you are. And you're still learning. Well, you're still learning mm -hmm. who you really are, yep. right? More and more. We all are, hopefully, if you're really working on yourself. But I wish an Aaron Rodgers, uh, a, a fucking like uh, Patrick Mahomes, somebody on a level, LeBron or yeah. whatever, will come out and be like, no, I'm gay. Yeah. No, you're not really gay. No, no, no. I fuck, I fuck men, and I am gay as shit, and I love it. There's no way statistically you take the entire NFL with all those men on every fucking team mm -hmm. and the NBA and tell me there's not one gay guy in that group. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. It's not, it's people, not statistically possible. There's no days. way I'm the only one. There's no way. You know, like I'm just the only guy that is into – like manly stuff and blown dudes like no it's just a thing that if you're like me and you live in this area of influence it's not a good idea to say you do that well people funny. get bummed out yeah it goes it follows you because the sports you chose skateboarding i remember you telling me especially back then it yeah. wasn't it was not cool to be gay in skateboarding and you were harassed. Mm -hmm. MMA is another sport that I feel like it's probably not a great idea to be, no, a, be an no, openly gay man. One guy wore the rainbow shorts and the amount of heat he took for wearing shorts that had a rainbow on it. It scared me. When I saw all the people saying stuff, I was like, note to self, you fucked up. And now you're in comedy, entertainment, podcasting, whatever. Again, not an environment that you feel... You feel the same way. You feel it's is it's on parallel to uh, the skateboarding days and the MMA no. days. No. Worse, same. No. no, I don't think it's bad at all. Oh, you don't. I think sometimes, like when you said Appleton, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. I did a gig there, mm -hmm. and I think my comedy, like, I kind of have a lot. I have like a, a like twenty eighteen minute bit about being gay that was more like two minutes in Appleton. <laughs> yeah. Because I had this feeling that people were like, what? Nah, dude. You know? And I was like, oh, okay. So it's not everywhere. But comic-wise, I don't think anybody hates me for talking about that stuff. Oh. I, haven't, I haven't caught it where okay. someone's like, really, dude? That's what you're going to talk about? Only fans that, that are old school fans when I was totally straight, and they feel let down. And I get it. I understand it. Really? You have fans who feel let down that you mm -hmm. are not who you were then? Mm -hmm. Or you don't fuck who you used to fuck then? Let's I say still it like do. That. I just added some people to my list. Well, that, when was the first um, homosexual experience you had that you wanted to have? Yeah, that's tough. What Cause, age? Because there were two boys when I was young that just blew me out of nowhere that were my friends. And I'm like, what the hell? One guy in a jacuzzi. How old? 17. And then another High time school, when okay. I was like 
14, I had a skateboard buddy, and he just started blowing me in his room, and his mum came in. No. Yeah. And saw it? For sure. Like, I flipped mm. around or whatever, and he tried to, like, spin around but you know when you're a parent and you open the door and two kids are doing something they shouldn't it was when i think about it now i'm like she totally saw it did she say anything no just shut the door yeah just whoa okay you guys need some lunch or something and uh and he was like, like your son's yeah. getting a mouthful oh, now bro <laughs> <laughs> your son's getting a mouthful now man <laughs> so i don't think i ever went for one until i was uh <clears throat> Probably thirties, when oh wow, I took a bunch of ecstasy, and I'd been to a gay club before. And when I took it, it I just didn't want to hang out with my friends, and I left and went there. And then uh, a big guy who was a cross dresser, real big, had heels on, but he was probably like a two eighty guy, and you know the big hair and stuff. So he looked like he was seven feet tall, and he was just eyeing me out at the bar. And then he came over and he's like, hey, man, let me let me blow you. And I was like, okay. But I agreed to that. So that was first time someone asked permission and first time you said okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the convenience of it being such a horn dog where somebody just blows you and says thank you and leaves. That was hard not to go back there. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I I know that being gay is a it's in your fiber it's in your DNA yeah. it's in your makeup it's who you are and I know that because I can't tell you how enticing a fucking can I suck your dick yup bang 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 I'm out of here never see you again thank yeah. you so much sounds yeah I just no. can't get past the fact that it's a man doing it and that's how I know gay is not a choice right. That's how you know. I have a bit in my stand up where it's like if you're if nobody existed and no one was gonna point you out for doing something wrong and some guy was just saying, Hey man, let me blow you in, I'm out of here, just I just want you to finish. That's it. I mean, how bad is a blowjob? It's it's usually pretty good and, and I hate to say it, but guys are their level of blowjob, it's usually better. <laughs> Is it? Come on. Dude, they know dicks. But do you feel like women eat pussy better than too then? Yeah, because I they, do. they know pussy? Yeah. They know theirs? On average, yeah. So a male blowjob in your experience has been better than a female blowjob. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a couple of girls out there that you're like, whoa, you know? Where'd you learn that? Yeah. <laughs> how long you been doing but this? But guys, yeah. it's just yeah. that they all, because it's just how much you like doing it too, I think. Like a good blowjob is someone who enjoys giving it. Yeah, I would and agree I feel with like that. Gay guys, but also women are very. Every woman is different. Like some are Agreed. coming clitorally, some are coming vaginally, right. some are coming anally, some are coming all of them. Some are squirting, some are this. A guy, if you just grab it and grip it and you move it up and down, yeah. eventually, yep, he can figure it out pretty quick. Done. So it's it's, it's it. It's all you got to do. It's a it's a really cool scene if you're me. You know, because once I got past everybody's opinion of it, it's what I am. It's what I like to do. Opinion of what? Of you being uh, yeah. with men? Yeah. Because it hurts, you know? Did you keep it quiet for a while? Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah. How I wasn't long? sure what I was. I was like, maybe you just do Why do drugs. you say, so when you say what I was, are you talking about gay straight and yeah. not just being a person like yeah, being gay or straight and and is it confusing because it's not defined for someone like you meaning you like to fuck everything <laughs> it just didn't add up that i would be gay it didn't make any sense all the to things you yeah okay and i grew up in a way where, where if you're gay there's something wrong with you so i think i just denied it well we're the same age pretty much and even when i grew up like it didn't matter what you did. I, I can't play sports today, guys. I have a cold. It's fucking queer over here. Right. You're being yeah. gay. Everything I was gay. I said that to people. Everything was being yeah. gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was one of the worst ones right, gay. at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, homo. Like, yeah. just get just up. Just fucking suck it up. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think I kind of accidentally talked myself into being the complete opposite of what I am. So do you think then that you dove – 
literally into women to overcompensate for that or to bury that or hide that or did you not nah. even think that no nah, i definitely didn't think that so you do I really you, you like do enjoy women. sex with women then. yeah okay it just seems like lately i might be gay are you surprised that in your 50s you're coming to that now yeah. or is it not a surprise no it's devastating why why <laughs> is that devastating? it's harder i don't need to make my life any harder you know yeah it's already hard enough and now I'm doing this to people, you know, like people are hurt, you know. Hurt by you being gay? Yeah. Why? I mean, I, I don't think my wife, you know, is would prefer if I was a bit, you know, I've got gayer over the years and I don't know if she's that into it, you know. So I, I hurt her because I was something and now I'm something different. Same with the fans. Like you're selling one thing and now you're another. Well, what were you selling before that you aren't now? Being a, a mindless, heterosexual, like aggressive, alpha dickhead. And now I'm- The same thing, but you're not heterosexual. Well, no, it's changed my opinion of a lot of stuff. You know, like I what? feel like, I don't Tell know, me. I'm a bit more of a libtard. Like I don't, I feel like, uh, you know, people trying to ban drag queens and stuff is just like, maybe 20 years ago, I wouldn't have- reacted to it but now i'm like what is wrong with you why are we doing this to people what is a trans what is your aggressions towards trans people i think you got to know them you know because to me i have a lot of um non-binary and trans friends and i know them i love them i love the person that they are and i see how society hurts them and i feel bad for them you know if i do it i still do it to them where I go, hey, how, how you know, how's she going? And and someone will go, how are they going? And I go, ah, you know. And my friend is like, it's been like five years, Jason. And I'm like, eh. you know, I got this dumb man brain. But if you're a trans, so here's where I get ignorant too. If you're a trans woman, you're not a she. Well, no, that's different. If you're a trans woman, is uh, if you're a trans man, which means you're born a lady, and now, now you're, you're a, a man, man. You're not a he. Yeah, they get top surgery, they right. take uh, testosterone, and they became they get jacked, and they get a lot manlier. Their voice gets deeper, all that stuff. They're a man. Calling them a man or, or you know, me mate or, you know. Him. Yeah. Is that, not offensive. That's all they want. Okay. So it's not that hard for me to say that. Then when are you saying she that's offensive that should be a they? Well, or these are the, see, I, those ones were easy for me to figure out. Okay. Like if you're a trans girl, which means born a guy, now you're a girl. That's a You're she. a girl. You're you she. Want, that's all you want to be. It was easy Got for it. me. Okay. Especially when you look like ridiculously hot lady, it's not hard. But then there's non-binary. So I have friends that are born a woman that are not, they didn't take- testosterone they might have like a shorter haircut or some something a little different but just a hot chick who is non-binary so they're they them and the they them to a really cute girl that when i first met them they were a girl and now i have to do the they them or or or, or they want to be he so it's hard to adjust to that stuff but I just know. Well, especially if you knew him first in yeah. one way. Well, okay, so that I've been calling somebody I her hear him. for ten years, and now they're him. And I go, yeah. "Hey, man, how but don't are you?" You think he should also ha give a little leeway to people? Well, like, that, see, that's it's not a light the one that switch. I'm talking about is way cooler. With I'll be like, I've stumbled several times, and they go, oh, "I don't even care, honestly." But her partner, they them partner. It cuts her, you know, and I and I I, I care f for her, and I really would prefer to say something that she likes to hear. That's all. And when everyone gets angry about it, and we got to stop them, I just think of her when I see it, and I go, man, I wonder how they feel when they're watching this, you know. Like they're just like we're banning gays, you know. I'd be like, wait, do I? Uh, Am I getting deported for sucking a dick? Is that what's coming? It's coming down to because it's not. I didn't forcefully blow anyone. Like they were like, "Can you blow me?" Well, apparently, you can forcefully fuck kids and everything and still be a comedian. You know, oh, you can rape people and still be a comedian. Is am I wrong? 
I don't think I am. I, from what I've heard, no, you're not. Apparently, you can do whatever the fuck you want and still be a comedian, it sounds like. <laughs> I don't want to so, be in this. Ever have those nights where the day plays on repeat over and over and that leaves the next morning a drag? Dag Grass has you covered to calm those bedtime ruminations so you can fall asleep fast and stay snoozing until morning. Dag Grass is legal, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Their 100% organic pre-rolled joints and flour are very low in THC and high in CBD, so you can enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping a clear head. You're not looking to tote, Dag Grass offers the finest tinctures and gummies on the market. All the mellow goodness, no smoke required. All Daggrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. Whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Daggrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. Right now, Daggrass is offering my listeners 20% off your first order when you go to daggrass.com slash honeydew. Go to daggrass.com slash honeydew for 20% off your first order. That's daggrass.com slash honeydew. Our next partner is Athletic Greens. I heard about Athletic Greens and decided to give them a try because I wanted to improve my gut health and give my immune system a little extra support. Plus, I wanted a supplement that actually tastes good. It's all your key health products like multivitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, and more working together as one. I added AG1 to my morning routine, and it really does leave me feeling like I'm doing something good for my body. It gives me the nutrients I need. You know, It makes me feel good about myself. It's made with 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients that deliver benefits like mood, immune and sleep support, sustained energy, and so much more. You can even get an inconvenient travel packs for you on the go, like I'm using for my upcoming tour. So if you want to take ownership of your health, today is a good time to start. Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash honeydew. That's athleticgreens.com slash honeydew. Check it out. Now, let's get back to the do. Um, I want to learn this, too. You, you say you're getting gayer. You're, you might be gay. You're 53. Um, what's going on with that? It's harder, sure, but are you not doing anything about it? You're a fucking man with a sex drive. So how are you handling that? Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like. It's really hard. I feel I don't know if I can date a man. I don't know. I don't know if I can date anyone. I feel bad for anybody that dates me. Why? Because I'm always, um, you know, trying to bone somebody. Trying to what? Have sex with guys and girls all the time. So then, why do you want to be married? What's the I probably, what's that long? Well, I thought we had an open relationship, but I feel like it's kind of got to the point where I'm going too far and she's the opposite now. She's less into all that stuff. And I can't stop it. It's like what I it's what I want to be. It, that would make me happy. Like I go to work and then at night I get laid with anybody. Do you believe in an open marriage now after having one? Yeah, I but if you're not, that's what I'm saying. Things have changed. What she really wants and what I really want are two different things. People mm -hmm. grow apart. Like, sure. It doesn't have to. Also, they people change. They don't necessarily grow apart. They just change, that's too. All. Like, I'm into this now, but I'm not. Because I, I love her. I will always love her. But I feel bad for her being around me now. You feel bad? Yeah, like, I, she wants to break up with me, and I kind of don't blame her. So it's. It's really bad, man. I can't believe I'm here. So then how do you – this is a tough question, I guess. Like if you guys get a divorce and you feel now that you're a gay man, do you ever fuck women again? Do you ever date women again? Yeah, or if I you're really, a gay man, are you just men now? No. Nah. No, I really So like then it. is that not not gay? Like what – I don't understand. Isn't that what, what's it I called when you uh, po uh not poly um it might might see I might be more like that is that poly when you because you say you'll fuck anything is what you always 
yeah. jokingly say this, but I'm saying, is that what poly, someone who's poly is? Is Well, then you, no, you have, or is you that have, a relationship? You, people. <laughs> you have relationships with more Polyamorous than one person. Polyamorous is more than one person. Okay. Yeah. What Open is it? was more like you you can sleep with anybody as long as you get permission. But it, what is it when you don't care? You love men, pansexual. Thank you, that's Kirsten. What I am. Pansexual. That's yeah. But that's different than gay. Yeah. Are there just gay seems... men and women who are like, no, I just like women. I just like men. I just feel like if you like men a lot and you're still pan, it's hard for a girl to date that person. I see. Okay. It's a lot of pressure on them, and it's not fair. So what are you? What is it actually you're thinking? Are you thinking that you wouldn't have sex with women anymore, just no. men? No, everybody's still on the list. So then, <laughs> so then, why are you saying you might be gay? I'm just more gay than I've ever been, and I told you it's harder for a woman. You can't date me, you know. It's not. It's too much for unless the woman also wants to do that. But in your experience, women want to be in relationships, not yeah. want to do I that. mean, I've met poly people, but I've never dated one. No. And I just, I feel bad. If I really am getting divorced, like I'm, I don't want to put myself on anyone, you know? I think at this point. Also, maybe it's a good time for you to be single right now. That's and all. also, maybe you're just more into guys now. Maybe it's two years, and then yeah. all of a sudden you're into whatever the hell else you're into over there. Maybe it's trans ladies after that. Yeah. Just that for a while. Who knows? Yeah. I doubt it, but yeah. You've had sex with trans ladies? And trans men. I was going to ask the other way, yes, mm -hmm. and trans men. Mm -hmm. What do you find yourself more attracted to, the trans ladies or the trans men? Uh, I mean... It depends on your look, you know, but there's some really hot trans men that they kind of make sense to me because, I, you know, I like vaginas and I, and I like the manly part too. So a man with a vagina or a, a man who used to be a man is now a woman with a vagina. Right. Oh, oh that's the full surgery. That's – Oh. That's – yeah, because if you're a tr transsexual, you're usually – a lady See, with a penis. Shit. Oh, you do still keep the mm -hmm. penis. Your actual penis. Yeah. Yep. And, and then it, there's... Uh, I, wait. Stop there. Trans lady. So we've got breast and a penis. Yep. Are Is the penis in play during sex time? Or not, do they just want to be a lady? Not everybody, but not everybody. it depends. It depends. Yeah. Sometimes it's very obvious that they don't want you to treat them like a man. And then some of them have raging boners and want to... You know, pokey with it. Oh, so they don't want to just. Some trans girls are tops, and, and they shit. just want to be the top. I which mean, is, it's interesting. This is an eye open. It's a lot of openings. I mean, if your butt here, works but... like that, you know. What about the other way? Um, uh, with a vagina, mm -hmm. can you penetrate that vagina? Mm -hmm. Do they have? Uh, orgasms and feelings. Can mm -hmm. you act? And it works. Mm -hmm. For a, a, a used to be a man and now has a, a vagina and it works. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I had a threesome with one with Katie and I. Big black girl, huge ass, but she's full, had the full op. She had a vagina. Now, what about the other way, women with a penis? Yeah, well, it Does depends on how long they've work? been doing it. Yeah, It'll yeah, get but hard if, and stuff? if they take testosterone and they have from like a, you know, like a eighteen to forty, mm -hmm. they're gonna have a a big pussy because it makes their clit turn into a penis. Oh, I see. I've okay, so I've seen like muscle uh, building videos. They get where, little bonuses. Yeah, stuff. where they showed the clit and it looked like the mm -hmm. head of a dick. It really did. Yeah. And now they were like, "Well, that's the penis." Mm -hmm. So if you take yeah, you lick steroids, them that when they thing will that. get actually grow. Like you lick it like a vagina, but you also suck the little penis. Sorry. <laughs> I learned so much on this show. <laughs> I don't know how much of it I need to know moving forward. I'm going to check out my boy. Patreon, you guys. There's plenty more. <laughs> Definitely some nuggets of uh, knowledge on this yeah. goddamn show. All right. But you're just attracted right now. <laughs> to men born men? Nah. That's what you mean by you've been getting gayer lately? What do no, you mean by no, that? No, well, I feel, I'm trying to, at the start, my gayness was very, I'm a straight guy and I don't get, 
I had little issues with it. Like I didn't feel comfortable hugging a guy in that way. Maybe feel uncomfortable. So now I'm, you know, like I have a friend who's I've been seeing for like, uh, you know, like seven years or something. And he, I love him and I'll hug the shit out of that guy. But that never was the case for the longest time. So it just, you know, being like bottoming for guys and stuff, I don't think a lot of girls think that's a turn on. And that's fine. But I also don't want to bum anybody out, especially somebody I really care about. I don't want to make them feel like I'm gross. Do you think that most straight women don't want to date a man who's even bisexual? Mm -hmm, they just sure. don't want any part of any man on man. Yes. They just want a man to be with them. Yeah. Which is fine. It's normal. But I don't understand. What is, what is it you're looking for in marriage then that you, if it's not exclusivity with this one person, <laughs> is it exclusive to emotions? Like are you, is everyone else yeah, just nah, a, a, that's, that's an itch the that other, needs to be scratched? No, nah, I've or? ruined it. I've ru This is all my fault, dude. Like I, I, I talk to people, I start sleeping with them, and then I have feelings for them, and now they're my friend. And I love them, and we bone, and it's not fair to Katie. Oh, you mean that's what you would do during your open relationship? It, it happened a couple of times. And then you get friendly to them. They're not just a one-off and off into the night you go. Right. Because the- Is that what was well, expected I started to do in that, that type of relationship? To me, it was healthier. To just have sex with somebody that you don't really care for is not good. So I changed, and now I have like a few- regulars and that's all i see i don't see ra randoms anymore because there's too many stds out there mm -hmm. I and mean, i don't want to bring it home so i only try to hook up with people that i can trust that get tested okay. and all that stuff so. so let me ask it this way then you've got these few regulars they're satisfying your sexual needs yeah what is it about the marriage what is it about the wife that's different what is it that you wanted out of that that you're that these holes you're filling or being filled by are not fulfilling. Um, I, I thought I had a teammate that was into exactly what I was into. Like the reason I came out in the first place is because Katie was like, are you bi? And I was like, mm, maybe. And she's like, oh, it's so hot. Not, I'll put up with it. It was hot. But I think now that it's flourishing, it's hard to deal with me. You know, like I could bone her and then later that night I'm trying to get boned. It's too much. You know, I feel, but it's what I want. So it's like, what do I do? And, and uh, you know, she, now she's like, I'm, she's sick of me for doing stuff like this liking photos of people I'm not supposed to be talking to. I'm a nightmare, you know, and I can't help it. I don't, it's like what I, what I want, I think. I'm scared of being alone. You know, I've always tried to lean on somebody because I feel like uneducated and I can't like buy things with my credit card or my phone because I don't know how to like do, you know, I'm pretty childish. Um, And I just, you know, I had a partner that was, to, we were together on this, and now I feel like I've gone. I'm, I'm putting stress on her that she doesn't deserve, you know, because she lets me do more than I don't know anybody else that has a, that I've heard say. My wife is like, yeah, go sleep with that guy and that girl and have a fivesome. I'll help organize it, you know. Yeah, I don't and then to be like, no, I need more, dude. This is all your fault. It's How would you feel when you're – would your wife partake in sleeping with other men and women without you the way you did without her? Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about that? Um, depends. Sometimes I'd be a bit jealous, but I knew that it was right because I was doing it. But jealous she's not, of what? Um, the, the thing that she would not like is the, the emotional connection. And obviously for her to hook up with a guy, she needs to really care for them. She's not going to just let anybody put it in. So I get that. But when I started copying her in that way, because I sleep with, I want to sleep with people all week, 
you know? Different she, people. Yeah, she wants to, she might sleep with a guy like once a year. And so it's not the same. Like my drive is is higher. But you also have a man's testosterone drive versus yeah. I've 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 read a few things and again I'm very ignorant, but I've read a few things about trans if you go from a lady to a man, you're a trans man, correct? Mm-hmm. The testosterone, once they get it. Yeah. I've seen a couple of things where pe- women have been like, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, right. I didn't know this shit affected you like that. Yeah. Like, to go from zero testosterone and then have a, a healthy dose pumped into immediately. They're usually pretty horny. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. I'll fucking bet. Yeah, they become more like us. Yeah, super horny. Yeah. yeah. I'll bet they are. Which is cool. Depends on who you are, but yeah. So now what do you do? What's next then? Oh, man. I just try to be grateful that I'm still alive and I'm not going to hospital for any heart problems or anything. But it's tough, man. Like I find it hard to sleep now. I'm worried about my future, like a career and and relationship. Like am I just going to be living in an apartment by myself? Am I going to be okay with that? You know, like it's all, it's all up in the air right now. So I'm scared. What scares you most? Being alone. You know, I don't have any family really. And then Katie was it, you know. So that scares the shit out of me, <laughs> to be honest. But it, it's probably for the best for her. For her? Yeah. What's best for you? That she's uh is wants to come and uh have sex with me with all these people and that uh, I can talk to anybody I want and say whatever I want to them and they can say whatever they want to me. I'm just not leaving her, you know? But it it is not fair. I, I know that and I'm that's why I'm not trying to so No, the- no, you don't understand. I'm like, you totally understand. You might understand it more than me. Because I'm just going, you know? Especially now, Ellis Manning getting cancelled and all these F- Lewis dropping out of fights and then the guy that I let go on the show, the the band that we were supposed to get back together, people didn't want to do the band anymore because I let go of that guy. Just one thing after another, just boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, dude, I was the second biggest show on Sirius XM. What happened? It's like because you're being you. You're, you've changed and people don't relate to it as much. But I am being me. You know, that's the thing that I am addicted to is the more I find out things about myself, the, the I, I want to get past it and move on because it's a surprise to me. All these things that the way I think, I didn't think I would ever think like this. So I think it's best that I stay away from people in that manner because I'm going to break your heart. I don't know, dude. I've been a negative it's hard to have a positive outlook well, I on mean, all this. It's also hard to because it's such a sticky fucking situation with so many literal ins and outs in this goddamn thing here. You want a partner who will be there and let you do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. Also join in on it whenever you want. Let you like photos you shouldn't like and talk to people you shouldn't talk to and everything. But what is that? Why? What, that's not a partner, though. No. You're right. Nobody's going to want – you wouldn't want that. Right. No, I'm probably uh, better off being by myself and having a couple of people that I see. I was going to say, if you had four people you consistently see, yep. I mean, is that enough for you for now to at least help you through whatever it is you're going through next and then see if you can find another partner? And then and – then, go ahead. But I don't think I should find another partner. I was going to say, and then if you do even find another partner – does the partner you want is that are they really allowed to do whatever you do? Well, here's the thing that and do you makes want me to be say a woman that I might be more gay because you know who would be down for that? A dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I just said, is the next one going to be a woman or a man? A guy would be a hundred percent down. He'd be like, "This is the greatest idea ever." <laughs> oh my let's god, let's go over this guy's house. Life? Let's go over there. Yeah. <laughs> My whole so, life. Yeah, You're a dream that might, come that might true. Be, <laughs> my, see what I'm saying? It looks like yeah. that's where I'm going, <laughs> and I still feel weird about like living with a guy. That's so gay. <laughs> that's as gay as it gets. Bro. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, no. So dirty and shit. Uh, <laughs> like, come on. And I'm so tough, dude. It's like you you know, just got back from the gym and then be like, hey, babe, what's for dinner to a dude? Like, dude, you're so gay. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's who's going to love that. Right? Yeah. And he's going to be like, I got three more of me, just like me, right over here. That would be it, pretty it, cool. It never hit me. Like, um, I have a friend of mine out in Palm Springs, gay guy, and um, we'd always go out and visit him and shit. And then he would tell me about the gay parties they'd throw. And he's like, oh, Ryan, after the white party. You know the white party? Yeah, yeah. It's the big party in Palm Springs. Is that like Diddy's thing? No, this is like the- Did he start it? I don't know who started it, but this is like the the gay bash. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Yeah, this is the ball. You I know, would this love is to go to that. Event. Yeah, yeah, you would love to go. I would they'd, love to go on a gay cruise. They'd love to have you there. Yeah. Um, But he would say like they do after parties back at his place and everybody be milling around and drinking and whatever. And they would hire- a shower, you know, dicks you oh, got growers yeah. and showers. Yeah, they would hire a shower who had that fucking dong down to the knees. Yeah, but he would be like the cook, so he would have to grill the food, buck naked and everything, and then he walks and serves. Yeah, and everybody's really like, look at, and everybody's grabbing it and touching yeah. it and shit. You know what I mean? I love those parties. And then he shows me Grinder at the time. This is years yeah. ago, and I didn't know what Grinder. He's like, oh, this is for dudes for dudes oh, right, yeah. right at, the, at least at that time it was yeah. i don't know what it is now and i go um show me some of the profile pictures and he showed me because you want to see my favorite one and this is when i was like dudes are fucking pigs and it, it, the, yeah so the profile pic you know you ching, you have to be a friend with this guy to unlock it to see his dick pics and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. not this guy this guy's pic profile pic was his fucking gaping asshole and you had to friend request it to see the cheese you can't, <laughs> the opposite you can't do that you get reported for that not back then you did okay this is years ago dude, and I, i'm telling you i was like dude i get gay I got guy. one for you <laughs> i get it now i got one for you there's this guy i know he's got like a glory hole in his house and he's like in his house yeah so you're like also a, allowed a to come to his one. house yeah but still you're coming to his home yeah any lunatic what? No, he's a friend of mine. No, but I mean, if he's got a glory hole, aren't randos coming up and putting their no, dick in No, he books them. Oh, it's okay. in his house. Okay. All you right. got to go into his house, All and right. he's got one installed in his room. Got it. But it's a proper one, like a door and everything. But he's a kinky guy, and he's into fisting and all this stuff. And every now and then he'd ask me, like, do you want to come over and watch me do some stuff? And I was like, yeah, because I don't know about any of it, and I don't care anymore what you think. So, yeah, I want to see it. But uh, he's like, I got this guy coming over who uh, has a lot of injections. And I'm like, injections? In What do you mean? And he's like, well, he has really big balls and a uh, huge ass. He's covered in tribal. Like his whole, ba- his whole body's covered in this really bad 80s tribal, big black stuff. And he's got like a ridiculous butt, like a butt implant where it's just like, why would you do that? And he's got his penis and his balls injected with- is it saline or something? I don't know what it is. I don't is. know. But his balls are this big. No. And his penis doesn't get hard. It's just like a- It just like sits a, fat? Yeah. Like a fucking thermos? Yeah. And he, <laughs> nah. Yeah. And you just, you know, slap him around, chug him and- Do you, like speed bag is not, like, is that what he wants? They're big you, so you can punch him and- Do that into his butt. No. Dude. Yeah. One, two. No. One, two. One, no, two. No, one, no, two. No, no, no. In it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he told me. Now that it's this okay is, to start at zero with the gay sex and work yeah, but your it way escalates, up yeah. To that, double fisting. But you don't need to start there. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to start no, there. No, I can't do that. Yeah. Dude, if I see you with an injected ass at the comedy store yeah. or something, I'm going to be like, nah. That could be bro. my gimmick, dude. <laughs> that might be the I one. I need four people from the audience. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's going to take punching the- your ass. Punching my ass. Yeah, it's funny. I might write that down. No, I'm not ready to take that yet. He told me another story of a guy who came over that he knew that was like a fisting champion as well. Champion? Dude, he told me about an a app. There's an app called- <laughs> Fist no. something and it's no. like people have reports on how good their butts are like it's like a 
people give them star ratings. Like if you want to fist my ass, I'm telling you this is a good one. Yeah. No, it's a yeah. Yelp for your asshole. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think fist. This is gay guys. Fist.org or something. I don't know. Anyway, he had a guy come over that he hadn't seen for a long time, and he had a baby, a rubber baby that you put in people's butts. And he was like, I want, do you want to try the rubber baby? I haven't tried it on anyone yet. And he was like, yeah. And I guess he put it's it in newborn. there. He put it in there, and he was holding it, and for some weird reason it just went. No. And sucked out of his hand. And went in there, and they couldn't get it out. And the guy was freaking out, and they tried to, like, use warm towels or something, he said. But it got to the point where they are like, we can't. We have to go to the hospital. And he was so freaked out that he had to go to hospital for having a baby in his stomach. And then they gave him a C-section. No! No, they didn't, dude. Yeah, dude. A fake baby caused a real C-section? Yeah. No! He had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Had a baby. Needless dude. to say, they are not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get to see the baby. No, no. <laughs> he doesn't get visited right. I don't think he wanted to see the baby. Actually, <laughs> seems like a bad day. That is crazy, dude. <laughs> right? That's crazy. That's where I was like, that is That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's interesting. A C-section. <laughs> that is. Come on, is that real? If yes. Whatever, kitty litter. <laughs> Dude, you're a wild motherfucker. I didn't do that. No, but you know the stories. Uh, and thank you for sharing them. Thank you for always coming back and being so open and honest. I can see and feel the genuine pain and confusion. I, I We'll make it. Different 50th. We're having yeah. different 50th birthdays today. Yeah, for Happy sure. birthday, dude. Thank you. I hope it's a good one. I'm thank you. I love I'm you. I'm stoked you're here. I love you, I, too. I'm glad I'm here, too, dude. Um yeah. Again, thank you for doing this as always and plug, promote, whatever you'd like, please. Just check the Jason Ellis show out. We really need it. Uh, Hawk versus Wolf, it's a good show. You know, we've got Undertakers and Seth Rogans and all kinds of celebrities on there. And then the Patreon, we do three Jason Ellis shows a week on there. And then I do two uh, solo shows. So it's five shows a week. And audio is like five bucks. And I think for. For all the shows and video, it's 15. But we do a lot of stuff on there. It's a good show. We're, we work hard. Check it out. Go check it out. Support it. As always, I am Ryan Sickler, ryansickler.com. Ryan Sickler on all your social media. We'll talk to you all next week. Mm -hmm.